back in April 2017, I made this video for Affinity Photo about you finding and using overlays. Um, and this is going to be sort of a follow up or part two of this particular topic. Now, if you look at the description of the video and click on the show more, you can see here there are links to the free sites uh, that I found and used in this particular video. And I've had a quick look, and these sites are still valid. You can still download these free overlays. And the video will sort of have a quick look at those and how you can use some of those. So if you want to get some other free overlays, um, you can check out this video and the links that are listed here. I do apologize for my voice on that video because I had a heavy cold at the time of making it. All right, so ones I want to use in this video, first one is from Inky Deals. If you look in Google or whatever search engine you want and put in free overlays, you know, you will get various samples, uh, ideas. Some of them will be like free all the time, uh, which is like the ones that are in the first video. And ones like this are free for a, a limited period. As you can see, there's two here that are expiring soon. I mean, they do have other free stuff here, you know, like design courses and other bits and pieces. And there are another two pages of free stuff. But the ones I want to look at are these two here. Um, so at the time of making this video, these are free, but um, they won't be for very long, but if you keep a, an eye with inky deals, there'll probably be others turning up at some point. Now the thing with inky deals is you have to sort of just sign up. All you do is got to give them your email address and sign up to be able to download these free samples. So if I just click on this one, and it's got a description of the different types that you can get if you buy the the whole pack there's all sorts of different ones but you can download the free sample of this pack and if I find this one it's and once you download it you get a zip file and you just unzip the file and then you will get all these different free samples from each pack and you get about five or six in each one. You see there's five in that one. And a five in that one. So you know there's about five four or five free samples for each category. Um I'll just come back to this one. Now this one here again you can download that one and this one here I haven't really looked into this one yet I've only just downloaded it but you get 17 free samples which are a bit random because you've got like autumn leaves bees ladybugs some sky looks like a lightning bolt some light leaks so that one's I haven't looked into this one yet but it does look quite interesting so that's the ones from inky deals and the next one is from Shutterstock, which is, they don't very often do free ones, I don't think. And this one doesn't seem to be a limited time deal. It seems to be like it's going to be on all the time. And there's a video here to tell you how to use them, which I haven't looked at. But we just come down to the download now. And that one should be this one here. You get 120 light overlays. Um, quite how you're going to use all of these, I'm not 100% certain. I mean, these ones here are sort of obviously got a light source, but these might just be adding shadows 
rather than light sources. I'm not 100% certain, but again, that's something I'm looking into. So the last one I want to look at in this one is by Tony Textures, and there's 10 rain and fog overlays, and it, there's a sort of little description here about how you can use them. Right, just you know, just add them to your image, resize them, and then change the blend mode to screen or color dodge. But you have five rain overlays and five fog overlays. Now with this one, all you have to do is just click on a particular image, and then when that opens, just right click, and then save picture as, and then save it to your hard drive as whatever na name it's got or whatever name you want to give it. So that is that one. So they're the three sites that I'm going to look at in the video. So I'm just going to close these down and go back to Affinity Photo and start a tutorial using some of these free downloads. Be back in a sec. Right, here in Affinity Photo, this is the image that I want to alter. Now I've got this image from pixabay.com, but what I'm going to try and do is alter this image using overlays to make it look like this. Now, to get this effect, I've used two overlays, which is these golden light ones and this is just called number 23. Both of these came from the Inky Deals um, overlays. And this, I'm going to add to this, this light element, which came from that 120 overlays from Shutterstock. So, going back to our start image, what I need to do is to get my first overlay so I'll just right click on the layer here and come to copy go back to my start image and then just edit and post paste that overlay on I'll come to the move tool I'll have to zoom out of this because this overlay is much bigger than the image and I'm just going to hold down control and resize this again just hold down control and then I'll press control and zero to zoom in and we just now I'll just stretch this like this way just to make it fit so we have that over the top of my image layer and then it's just a case of finding a blending mode that you like the look of. I mean, there are obviously there's loads of blending modes, and some of them can give you quite good effects that you may want to dabble with. And but you can just pick a blend mode that you like the look of. Now, personally, I'm going to stick with soft light. So I've got the like, bokeh. Um, in the background, but I don't want it on the face and the body of the subject that part of the that's main part of the photograph. Now you could go with using the eraser brush and sort of erase these circles that way, but that is a bit permanent, and if you make a mistake, you can't go back. So it's probably best to use a layer mask. So I'm going to come to this sort of like Japanese flag type this icon here click on that to add a white layer mask now because it is white it doesn't make any visible alterations um, it will allow everything to be seen now if it is if we paint black onto the layer mask and you do have to make sure that it's the layer mask that is highlighted come to the paintbrush tool and black as your foreground color. Um, I'm going to start with a high opacity, 100. I'm going to leave the hardness 
quite low, 5%. And I will just increase the brush size for a minute. And I'm just going to paint black on these areas here. Not going too close to the edge just yet. Just get rid of the main areas. Right, that's the main areas done. And then I will lower the opacity. Around at the 40% mark. I'm going to lower my brush size as well. And just a bit more slowly and more carefully remove any of these circles that are on the edge of the image. Now the brush size even more to get this bit up here. I need a bit more opacity than that. Let's go right up to that 60%. Almost there. See, and the beauty of doing it this way with a mask is if you do make a mistake, you can always rectify it by painting white on the layer mask to bring back an area you may have accidentally removed something from that you you know that you didn't want to remove so i think i pretty much got all of those circles off of her face so it just looks like it's behind her now um, right okay, i'll stop there that's it right so that is the first overlay so then looking at the next one again i'll just right click this copy it come back to the image and then edit and paste now again this is going to be quite big compared to the image so i'm just going to resize this one Zero. Right. So again, I just need to find a blend mode that I like the look of. And again, you can find all sorts of blend modes that will affect the image in different ways. Now I'm going to stick with the soft light approach and I quite like looking at that. The only thing is it does have a sort of all over the f image blue tint which is quite nice but if you wanted to sort of again remove that blue tint from the person but leave it on the background you could just go down the same route of adding a layer mask and painting black on it there is another option if you click and highlight onto the mask that you've already made right click that and duplicate it and once you've got a copy of that you can click and drag this one up and in into the blue overlay that i made earlier so both overlays have exactly the same mask now. So as you can see, if I turn that mask off, that has got the blue overlay over the lady. And if I turn the mask back on again, it has removed that. Now, you may have to just tinker with the mask slightly for where I've missed something where well, I didn't need to erase something because there were no yellow circles on it but now there is blue 
tint. So again, if I come to the brush tool with black and I can just remove any extra blue bits that I don't want on this image. But duplicating the mask and using it this way just means you don't necessarily have to go over everything just to get back what you want. So, yes, I'm quite happy with that. So, moving on to the last overlay. So, again, I will just right click this, copy. and then edit paste oh let me delete that sorry what i should have been was not on the mask but on the actual layer edit paste and let me zoom out and resize this one zero so again you can just resize this as you want yeah leave it like that so now it looks like there's a sort of a light leak coming into the image on this side and affecting you know the image overall so basically that's the end of the tutorial as far as using these three particular overlays this is how i would have used them um you obviously with overlays you can do what you want how you want different blend modes different ways of using them but this is just an idea so my advice is to you know if where are the where there are three downloads available make use of them i mean i'm not affiliated to any of these particular sites i'm just using them because they're free and places like inky deals um they rotate their free deals so what is free at this current moment won't be later on but they will probably have other free deals that you may want to take advantage of so thank you for watching hope you get some pleasure out of using some of these overlays and goodbye